Brian Ruby. We're going hogging today. A little hogging. 15 dozen shrimp. Heading out O'Neill's. <laughs> There's old Zoe girl back there. 300 hour service and timing belts. Miss her already. We'll come back when we're out there. Is it? Oh yeah, it's a bunch of Macs. Yeah. Look at all of them. There's a hog. Yeah. I think so. If by hog, you mean grunt. You think so? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> there, was, there wasn't enough uh, fight. Well, I mean, I'm on Ruby's boat, so the last time I dropped my first shrimp down, we got, a, we got a 14 inch hog. Good thing we got 15 dozen shrimp. That's a hog. It's either a hog or a red grouper. No, I'm gonna go with a grunt. Scamp! Scamp! I know. It might be. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure him because you know what? Scamp is quite tasty. <laughs> really He's 15 and a half. Give me a 16 inch scamp. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. There's some freaking meat in the box. Come on, Jack! That was the first 16 I've seen in two years. I mean, I think I he might have been 15 and three quarters. He might have been 17. He might have been 17. I'm gonna measure him again just for fun. Oh, you know what's beautiful is I can edit. Ah, f me! He was 15 and three quarters. Yeah. It's because I measured him on the cooler first. God dang bump board always being right. Get him away from the tax man. Scamp's getting bigger. Oh, Gagaroonie. Gagaroonie. Right off him that. He had rocked. As soon as I turn the camera off, catch a keeper hog. That's all right, I guess. You ain't lying. That, one that one's, I'm gonna give you 15 on that one. the first time we got there bud i don't know it feels like a king Bonita. I don't know, should I bleed him and sear him like all gross? You would or wouldn't? That's 
try it. He's just the right size to do it. With. Yep, I'm gonna say, let's bleed him. Ain't gonna waste nothing on We're gonna try it. Well, little toony. Is that a banana or a little tiny? Yeah, we'll see. see where he was hooked? Yeah. In the belly? Yeah. Was he up? Yeah. Baby hog. Baby hog. He called it. Whatever it is, it woke up. Nice hog. Great hog, Ruby. Those taste good too. Gaffer? Ow! Look at that thing. Yes, sir. There's some. Oh, keep that. There's some bacon. What That's is that? Tootin. What is it? What? Oh. He, he pulled out a fucking hog and said, "Oh, keep that shit." Yeah. See, I knew what he said. Yep. Here, hold that bad boy up for me, Ruby. Shrimp. Yes, sir. John Chapman. I shot him out in every one of my videos that we use these. I don't know why we keep
They're all laying in the window in there. She's on the wet. Oh, yeah. I see her. Look at her. Look at the damn dog up on the ledge. <laughs> she wants out so bad. Oh. Are they out next door? Alright. So, caught my first ever yellowtail. Uh, we got a two hogfish. Gave one to Jack because we couldn't get one the rest of the day. And well, the dog is want to come out. But I think I'm going to do a seared little toonie as an appetizer. Supposedly it's good. We bled it, we iced it the way we're supposed to. We're going to find out. I've never had blackfin tuna, so I don't have anything to compare it to other than like sushi tuna. And I would imagine fresh fish is going to taste better than, you know, restaurant fish. But we're going to make sure I cut all the bloodline out and we'll see what happens. Now that I've cooled off a little, rinsed off in the pool, cooled down, got rehydrated. If you've seen some previous videos, you obviously know me and Rough Seas, we don't do well. Today it was supposed to be 1.5 or better. It was not. So what we're going to do is hogfish, I mean you really can't mess up hogfish, it's an incredible filet. I've only eaten it once, eaten it once. I've only caught it once, other than today. So I'm going to put, Stephanie found this awesome, Sir Kensington's Garlic Everything. So I'm gonna put the hogfish on our individual cast iron serving trays. Split up two and a half tablespoons of butter, a little bit of that garlic everything sauce, salt, pepper, Pop those in the oven, done. 15 minutes max. I'm gonna watch them because I don't want them to overcook. Uh, we're gonna have a little side salad or whatever, but the real reason I'm filming this cook portion is I'm gonna put some sesame oil in this pan, put some sesame oil on the little tuni slash bonita, whatever you want, bonito, whatever you want to call it, roll it in sesame seeds, tss, tss, quick sear, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, you know serve it up over uh, some soy sauce and a bed of uh, seaweed salad. Shout out to Tampa Offshore Fishing for the new Bubba 9 inch blade. I don't know if I'll ever, well, red snapper season, gags. I clean the hogfish, I clean the little toonie with this. It's quite sharp and, you know, I have a, a cutco knife, works just great, but this is a big, you know what I mean, it's a nine inch flex. So, let's get to cooking. Check them in like 12 minutes to see if they start, once the meat starts flaking, they're done. What I did to prep the little toonie was I wrap, I uh, slice them obviously, clean up all the bloodline, easy. But these are just the top two loins because, well this is all I got. I mean that was probably a seven pound fish. Uh, there's a lot of bloodline in these guys, it's not like your standard tuna. So what I'm going to do, and that's one side obviously. Here's the other. I salted it, wrapped it in paper towels, threw it in the fridge for about an hour. These are much, much firmer than they were before. I mean, it, it looks pretty darn good. So, sesame oil, sprinkle sesame seeds. I'm gonna sesame oil the pan, quick sear them, and then I'm gonna slice them thin and we'll see what happens.
let it sit on the napkin for a few minutes. Um, obviously, it's still raw on the inside, but that's what I, I wanted to treat it just like a regular tuna. Got a bed of seaweed salad. I put a little bit of citrus ponzu dressing in, but now we're just gonna slice it and say a little prayer that it actually tastes decent. Those little bits probably won't make the plate. And a lot of people say this is a bait fish, not really a you know a game fish that you consume. I've used it as bait, but I've seen some stuff recently where people have eaten it, so why not give it a shot? Because we catch them a lot more than I catch blackfin tuna. So if it's even remotely good, yeah, that looks pretty darn good right there. If it's even remotely good. I mean, I'd do it again. But we're just gonna go ahead and get the stuff on the plate. We got four minutes left on the hogfish. Shout out to Coach Taylor. I wore sleeves tonight to cook this just for you because you commented on my videos about whether or not I own shirts with sleeves. This hogfish smells amazing. I already know it's gonna taste amazing. Salad, salad. Let's try. I'm waiting for you. Little toonie. Okay. It doesn't taste really not bad at all. Like it's actually pretty good. I've eaten worse sushi in my life. Yeah, we've had way worse tuna. <laughs> way worse actual tuna. Um, um, I feel like it has, like it's more dense. Yes, but like I- The texture It's thicker. firmer. Yeah. But maybe because I cut it like that. Try it here, try a paper thin piece. Try this I piece. I just, I thought mine was thin. Okay, well. I mean, I'm gonna keep, I'll keep these going forward if we get more than one, because they are really good bait. I think it tastes exactly like tuna. I haven't had blackened tuna fresh, but I will say, if you go to Publix and get the $5 Wednesday special, this is better than that, from that tuna perspective. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna put some chili ponzu on, on my side yeah. and See how it tastes, because I really like this chili ponzu sauce. I'm going to get the sushi sauce. Oh, I forgot we had sushi sauce. Okay, we have sushi sauce too, so the good thing there's three rows. Okay. I don't want Pobius on this. We have yuzu. I don't need yuzu. We have soy sauce. We have minos. That's pretty good. I do like seaweed salad, so I'm going to spritz in a little of that. Can we do it on this one? Yeah. Sushi sauce. Oh, hi, bird. there's a bird outside. Shh. Yeah. I mean, that right there. I've probably been served this before at a crappy Japanese restaurant and been charged 20 bucks. So, verdict's out. If we catch a little toonie or a little toonie or another bonito or whatever, well, actually, there's a difference. It's the green back, squirrel backs. That's this. I throw false it in the box. False albacore. Yeah, false albacore. A lot of people cook it all the way through, but uh, yeah, I'd do it again. I wouldn't make it the main dish, obviously, but. False albacore is edible, according to. Bonito Africans. is not. Or I'm sure anything's edible. People eat freaking jacks for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. It's been a, it's been a whole month since I posted a fishing video. Uh, boat's been in service, so uh, you know. See you guys next time. <laughs>